Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Investing with Kelvin. I am your host Kelvin and thank you for tuning in. Now, today we are going to be looking at speculation or rather speculative investment. This basically means when an investor purchases a property or an asset while its price is low, holds the property or asset and then resells it once its price has increased. This most of the time is easier said than done and can be quite a tricky skill for an investor to acquire. So, in line with that, we are going to be looking at the factors that move speculative properties. And number one, we are going to be talking about demographics. This basically means people. You have to consider how many people are there, what is the average age of these people, and what is their disposable income, because all of these things are things that affect the price of land of an area. Secondly, you have to consider accessibility. This includes roads, electricity, water, internet, all of these things. For example, a newly constructed tarmac road leads to increase in prices of land in an area. So it is important to keep these things in mind. Next, you need to be looking at things like social amenities. For example, shopping malls, shopping centers, schools, hospitals, all of these things are important in property values since they are things that we use in our day-to-day -day activities. Therefore, they make it attractive for people to move into the area, leading to prices increasing. Also, you have to consider the zoning and land use regulations of an area. This means, for example, if you are buying a property that you wish to sell in future as a commercial asset, then you need to consider the laws or regulations of an area. For example, is it controlled? Is it only residential? Because if it is and you are planning on selling your commercial property, then you are going to meet some hardships along the way. Also, you have to consider news, economic news to be specific. I will give you an example. The Northland city that has recently been announced in Ruiro area has led to the skyrocketing of property values in the area. This is because investors are hoping or speculating or anticipating that this increased activity will lead to increased people which will lead to increased development which will lead to increased prices of properties. So in line with all that we have just talked about. If you want some of the best or some of the most promising properties in the Nairobi Metropolitan, kindly call us in the number below or hit us up on any of our social media platforms and we can get to connect. That is it for today. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you next time. And please remember to leave your questions down below and we will handle them in future episodes. I've been your host, Kevin. Thank you. Vanaka Real Estate, your ideal real estate partner.